Yo guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today is going to be a different video of what we normally do. Today is going to be the road uh, to me beating Barry Bonds' record. Um, this is past clip. I want to talk over it, commentate over it of what I was doing, what happened, and what was the mindset. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So before, I obviously beat Barry Bonds' record. Um, sorry against Seattle. It was the goal. We wanted to beat the record. Uh, we are at 70. I think going into this game, we were so close. And you know, bro, I could taste it. I could taste that uh, home run record. We've gone like four home run games almost every game. It was just a matter of time for us to beat the single season home run record. So after that game, we were at 387 average, 217 hits, and 70 home runs. Amazing, bro. Amazing. We are set four more home runs to beat that record. Also, casual 146 RBIs to go with it. We were so close to beat that record. Obviously, we're getting MVP, but we just need four more to beat uh, Barry Bonds, but without drugs. So, you know what? I think this is a bigger accomplishment. So, enough talking about how much hits we have, batting average, all that stuff. We just want the home runs. We just want four home runs, and we are facing Julius Urias. Um, I'm pretty sure he doesn't allow that much home runs. So, going to this game, you know what? Not the best pitch I was hoping to hit against. Um, probably Trevor Bauer. Although he likes hitting people too. But with the first hit for us, it was a single, not a home run. Not the best play for us. Kind of hoping for that home run, but hit's a hit. So fast forward a couple of innings. Once again, the goal was to get 71 home runs or more home runs. So you get closer to that 73 home run mark and to get higher. And the sixth inning, we do just that with a perfect, perfect clears the fence normally perfect perfect sometimes i'm be the show word of the show would not be a home run but hey we get it we get a perfect perfect home run to get us get a solo shot not to tie the game or anything get a solo shot and get us the 71 home run mark um closer by the day uh however the eighth inning we don't do anything we just get a perfect perfect and we end the game right there as a tie so we played another game against dodgers we lost no home runs you know what not worth it so i decided to after the training i decided to start simulating um i wanted to simulate and see how much home runs we'd rack up and we actually got 73 home runs to tie it going against the minnesota twins for our chance to break the record simulating in the cpu just set up so perfect for us to beat that 73 home run record and to start a new a new legacy for mike hunt the greatest player of all time Jose Barrios, the pitcher for the Jays, uh, the Twins in MLB The Show because they don't update stuff. But he was pitching for us with no home runs. But when they replaced him, when they put in Cody Stasiak, 2-2 game, we open the game up for the Astros. We get a 4-2 lead, and we get that coveted 74th home run. We beat Barry Bonds' record. We've taken over. Um, now it's just for us to expand that, to get more home runs. To create a bigger and better legacy for my cunt. So after beating Barry Bonds' record, I sim to see if CPU can get me to 80 home runs for me. But they don't. They do get really close, 79. And once again, it is a lob, a setup pass for me to get that coveted. Coveted, bro. I'm saying coveted a lot, but it is really coveted. It is treasured to get that 80 home run mark for us against the Oakland Athletics. So after getting caught stealing like a complete idiot, because, you know, my brain wasn't working on this play, we are in the seventh inning for another time at the play. Another plate appearance, another at-bat to hopefully get that 80th home run against Zach Logia. We wanted it really badly, looking for a perfect, perfect fastball down the middle, anything to get us that 80th home run. And he goes for the one, he goes for the pitch. Perfect, perfect. Is that going to be it? Is the perfect, perfect which should be a home run in MLB The Show. Is that going to be a home run? It's not. It's caught because this game sucks. Um, luckily, our offense is really good, and we get one more chance in the eighth inning, and we capitalize. We don't take that for granted. First pitch, first hit, a fastball. 80th home run, baby. 80th home run, 423 feet, 110 miles per hour off the bat. We get it. 80th home run against Oakland. Off a really good night, I'll be honest with you. What, four for five and off the fly with the perfect, perfect? You know, not too shabby, not too bad. Let's check a look at our stats and our awards and our honors for that season. 
So after beating Barry Bonds' record, you obviously know we're going to get a lot of awards. We get the Triple Crown, the Home Run Champion, Silver Slugger, Hank Aaron, Batting Title, MVP, on base, slugging, runs, hits, batting average, RBI, stolen bases, doubles, home runs, and we get the single season home run record. We lead the league in all of those stats with arguably the greatest season ever in MLB, Major League Baseball history. League lead batting average, stolen base percentage was above 75. 992 fielding percentage. We should have got the gold glove in my opinion. And we're already halfway into the fall. Hall of Fame potential. My bad Hall of Fame potential um, in literally just two seasons. Uh, the batting wars is from the playoffs. The playoffs already started. But this was a W of a season in my opinion. We beat Barry Bonds' record. And we're the greatest player of all time. That's all I can say. So thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. Comment down below if you beat Barry Bonds' record or what's the highest home runs you've gotten and wrote to the show. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Shut your bitch ass up.